I'm going to show you how to steal ships in Starfield. So in order to do this, you're going to go to your inventory and go to your skills. Under the tech tree, there's going to be the skill called Target Control Systems. You just need level one of this. You'll never have to get more of this if you don't want to. It unlocks the ship targeting functionality. Now you're going to pick a star system that you want to steal ships from. If you want a lower level one that's easier, then check out the ones around Alpha Centauri. If you change up the game mode to very easy or have a ship that's pretty strong that can deal ships easily, then you could consider going to a higher level place. I'll just go to an area that's all 25 or 20. Just pick one of these. And then you're going to go inside of the solar system and you're going to pick a planet and you're going to fast travel to that planet. Now when you get there, if you don't see anything happen and no hostile ships pop in, like there's this ship, but that's a friendly ship so called Grandma, so you're, nothing's here. There's no ships here to steal unless you want to be a pirate. In which case, open up the map and then just fast travel to a different planet in the system. And keep doing this and go through every single planet in the system. And if you don't run into any of the random events of there being pirates, then what you're going to do is just go to another system and repeat the process. But eventually you'll get in one like this. Now as soon as this happens, you're going to want to save your game. Just so that things go wrong, you can load your game. Now, in some of these, the friendly forces are actually going to win on their own. So it's probably best just to wait and see. And if one of those red ships survives, then we can try to steal it. Also, you'll notice they have a shield and they have a health bar. The bottom one's a health bar, the white one. So we want to go for a ship that has a lot of health. Like this one, for example, it has the one that I targeted right now is missing a lot of health. So I might not be able to actually steal this ship. I had to load the game because they all died too fast. This time I'm going to try boosting away to try to make sure that they engage me less and engage the other the allies instead. If it seems like the allied forces are going to win, then it's a wash and you're going to have to just go try a different one. So you're just going to keep fast traveling the planets until you find one where the red ships actually are going to win and you can then try to board one. Another option if you have a really strong ship is you can go to Crix over here and this has the Crimson Fleet Headquarters, the key. Every 48 hours, you can go here, and there'll be a ton of ships for you to fight. Regardless of how you find a fight, once you find it, again, save your game, and then attempt to win the fight. And after you do that, then try to get it to where there's just one ship left if you can. Once you get down to just one enemy, you're going to want to power down all your auto turrets, and then save the game. And then, at, so that way you don't accidentally kill it. Then you're going to look at it and target it with interact. At the bottom, it will say target lock. And then you'll press that button, it'll take you to something like this. Then, although I just ran into him, but then you can select the engine at the bottom and then you can shoot at it. So we're going to have to lock again. You can only stay locked for a little bit. And then we're going to shoot at the engine. You see at the bottom how the engine one is selected in white. Now, if the ship has enough HP left, you can disable it like that. And then you're going to lock onto it again. Okay, I need to get a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. Once you're within 500 meters, it says dock on the right. It's R. I'm going to hold R, whatever it says on Xbox. It was right there on the screen to the right. And then you can dock the ship. Now you've got to go inside of the ship and you've got to kill everyone inside. So it'll bring you to this and you'll press the left button to bore hold it, in this case it was X on keyboard. And now you're inside the ship. Now these are often total rat's nests. So it is hell trying to find your way through most of these, but you literally have to go through and kill every single person on board. Once you make it to the cockpit and finish killing off the crew, then you'll be able to actually pilot the ship. Now that the crew's dead, I can go over here and I can go to the pilot seat and I can sit down. Now, if it does not let you sit down, it's because the ship's class is too high for your piloting level. Now, there are also some circumstances where for some reason it just won't let you do it. I don't really know why, but in most cases, it'll be related to your pilot level. So your pilot level is under tech. It's right here. Once you get to rank three, you can pilot B class ships and then rank four will let you pilot C class ships. Once you have all these, you'll be able to control literally any ship that you steal. So just, just like this one I stole here, this is probably a C-class just because I'm over level 100 now. But either way, once you get into the pilot seat of the other ship, now you're going to hold that middle button space to undock. We're undocking from my ship, and we're in control of the new ship. Now, your old ship will just get teleported back to the, back to, um, the spaceport. And now once you leave this um, planet or the solar system, it'll automatically make this new ship your home ship. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Alpha Centauri, Jemison, and then we're going to go, we have to just stop at the planet because uh, we might have contraband on actually. There might be contraband hidden in here somewhere, but they're going to have to scan us first. And yeah, there's contraband on the ship, so be very careful before you do this. You might want to run through the ship and try to find any contraband. Uh, so I'm going to get caught with this can contraband now. One way or another, once you finally get into the port with your new ship, go to the ship services technician who's right by this. You're going to go to view and modify ships. There's okay. one more step we have to do here. So now you have to register the ship. And this is how the game prevents you from making money by stealing stuff, which is kind of crappy. So it'll cost uh, a decent amount of the value in order to register it. 
So depend the better the ship is that you stole, the more expensive it is to register it. And once you register it, then you can go back to this menu and you could sell it if you want by going... You can see what he has to have for sale. And then you can click the sell tab. And then you can look at the new one and you can sell it. So I would have just made 8,000 credits off that. Not really worth the time considering they probably had 15,000 credits worth of weapons that I could have picked up off the dead bodies in the ship. But, you know, you can do that if you want. Or you just have this ship now. And if you want to modify the ship, you go to view and modify my ships. And then you go to this ship and at the bottom, click Ship Builder. And this is where you can pull things off and put things on and, and click down here to add things and, you know, swap some things up if you don't like the ship that you stole. Or you just want to steal a ship, and that's how to steal a ship. But that is it, guys. That is everything for this little short video. I just wanted to make a quick little guide for anyone who needed help with it. Now you know how to pirate and steal ships in Starfield.